going to do upstroke into a diddle. Let's uh, set up is sticks. Uh, yeah, let's take pause. You know, we're just going to pause there. Sticks are going to be about an inch above the pad starting position. And then you're going to go from an upstroke where you're not necessarily going to hit your, your, yeah, and then into a diddle. Yeah, uh-huh. Where it's, the, up, the upstroke doesn't really make contact. So it's, it's really more of a traditional downstroke. There you go. That's it. Upstroke into a diddle. Yep, and that second... That second hit on the stick is an incidental of the momentum and velocity of that first one. That's what we want. And then you just hang out there for maybe 15, 20 seconds and you're done, right? So do it, maybe just do it one more time so you can get that visual, right? So do, so do, pause again so you can get that set up. Yeah, and then release that little tension you had. And now breathe and now look forward too because we don't necessarily always have to look down to do this, right? Because when we're playing drums, we're not really looking down on our drums. We're, we're paying attention to what's going on with our bandmates. That's it. And don't forget about that whip. Yep, that upstroke, just like you're throwing a softball down into the floor. That's it. You're throwing that softball, and then you're getting that diddle. And then you're resetting, resetting to the same position where the sticks are like about an inch above the pad. Yep. That's a good left. Nice. Yeah, now your left, your left was was going a little. Right. Smooth. Usually, it's the other way around, but we'll just leave it at there for now. Yeah, I mean, if, right. if we get the left going, then it's just a matter of time before the right's gonna be like, oh, I got this. All right, good work.